I'm here in Toronto visiting some friends, doing a little bit of work, and I have compiled probably the leanest travel capsule that I have ever done. It is a short trip. I'm here for three full days, including like one and a half travel days. I'm here for both work and a little bit of leisure. I used my little Roly Away carry-on, which I also used for five weeks in Italy. I probably could have done this in a backpack, but I decided not to. I decided to go with my Away Roly travel case because I wanted to bring my camera equipment. I knew I'd have to film when I'm here. So I wanted to run you through how lean this capsule is, exactly what pieces I brought. So let's jump on in. So all of the pieces I brought with me are behind me, but I'll go through them in a little bit more detail. It's gonna take like two minutes because there's only four items of clothing, two pairs of shoes and two purses. I also brought with me one pair of sunglasses and one pair of frames. The accessories have been the winners in this entire trip. One of the main pieces, my denim, these are the wide leg crop from Cezanne. I have my cotton Ishto sweater from Portugal. It's cotton, but it is a heavier weave. Right now in Toronto, the weather's actually pretty solid and beautiful. It's like maybe anywhere between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. So I also have with me my lightweight merino turtleneck, super fitted to the body. Lightweight is key because it means it's good for layering. I brought with me my leather Cezanne mini skirt. I also brought my brave leather belt. This is the co-creation that I did with them. I designed it in particular because I wanted a belt that was super versatile, but that would add polish to a lot of simple looks. So it's good because it's got like the square buckle, the croc embossed detail, the two pieces of outerwear that I brought, and I layered them one under the other during my travel day. This trench coat was a vintage find in Croatia and it's great because it's got like a removable lining so I really wanted it because we're in this shoulder season time where things can be both hot and cold. The second piece of outerwear that I brought, my Club Monaco trusty wool moto jacket, this giant scarf. I mean, I'm just so afraid of being cold, but like I said, so far it's been fantastic. And the two purses that I brought, my black convertible backpack, I wore this on the train and the plane as just like my carry-on and my regular personal item. And I did not bring the puzzle. Okay, this was like, this was a big risk. The reason why I didn't bring the puzzle was because I didn't think I would be going out. So the only time when I would be going out while I'm here was an event. I was here to visit YouTube for the day. There was like a really great creator workshop for the whole day. And I thought that the networking and the mixer event afterwards was like immediately after. I didn't think I'd have time to go home and change. So I didn't think to bring like a small cute purse. But at the last minute, I threw in the fanny. And I'm kind of glad I did because this this is what I brought with me to the mixer. Definitely not a chic evening bag, but it did the job. And that's what tiny travel capsules are for, okay? They're not always like the most amazing thing. What also really elevated my outfits though were these boots. So these were like a really great centerpiece that I was so happy with. They're comfortable. So I've been taking public transpo in these. I've been walking all over the place with these. I love them. I find them comfortable, especially because everything else is so basic. I think they add like this really good, like a stylish edge. And I brought my running shoes, my sneakers, in case I wanted to go for a walk. I did not bring my running gear. This is one of the first and only trips that I did not bring my running gear because I really just didn't think I would have time to run. So that's everything. Everything is black with the exception of my scarf and the forest green fanny and the denim jeans. However, even when I was wearing all black, I still felt really good and I felt like the looks were still really dynamic because I had a lot of textures mixed in. I know a lot of you look for colorful travel capsules, but when you're only out for a few days, I just find it easier to go with the pieces that are my favorites and the pieces that were my favorites all happened to be black. I felt really good the whole time. So let's run through what I did and when I was wearing these things. Okay, this is the base of my travel outfit. I wore these giant boots on a travel day, not the sneaker. I don't know why, I just really felt like being a little bit more dressed 
for travel. I had this piece and this guy. Pretty solid layered look. I didn't wear the belt because I flew on the way there. I'll be taking the train on the way back. I still think it looks fine without. And this is where like the heft of this boot really comes into play. I also think here we've got like some really cool dramatic proportions. I don't mind that the crop and the hem of this jacket are so close together. I think we've got like this really cool length happening. There's a lot of layers. So yes, maybe by normal standards, this is a really boring look. But if we take it out of the fact that it's a lot of neutrals, the fact that it's a lot of basics, and we look at what's happening with the proportions, with the attitude, I really do think, at least for me, this was an interesting look and I'm really happy to travel in it. For the actual workshop day, this is what I wore. I wore this outfit all day long. I took public transport to get there. I had my big bag with my laptop and some notebooks, things like that. It was good. I felt good in this outfit. Had my vintage frames. Again, super simple, but this is where something like my belt, I'm really happy that I brought it and I'm glad it wasn't just like a regular black belt. I love the juxtaposition and style between the sneaker and something that feels like a little bit elevated as well as the gold and the frames. Like I think all of these little touches, they still got me really excited about these pieces that I was wearing, even though, you know, like I said, they're not like the most groundbreaking things, but I was warm enough. Actually, no, that's a lie. I left in the morning and I was pretty cold. And even on the way back, it was actually quite chilly that day. So what I would have added would have been this big guy. And I literally would have just done it like this. Like I wouldn't fold it any specific way. I think just wearing it so that at least my neck is warm is fine. This is how I typically wear my giant scarves. This is another really solid look. All I did here was swap out the shoe, kept the turtleneck, and like I've got this third layer. This was the look I wanted to wear to the little YouTube mixer, but a friend of mine was like, no, Alyssa, wear your skirt. You've been saying you want to wear a skirt more often. Go for it. Just do it. And I'm glad I did, but had I... <laughs> kept within my comfort zone, I would have gone with this. And you know what? I would have felt really comfortable. The event was good. There were people wearing all kinds of things like denim to dresses. So this would have been okay. Probably would have been a little bit on the casual side, but again, the boot gives it a really cool little hit of attitude. But let me just show you this on its own. This would have been a really cool evening look as well. No, not crazy. No, not groundbreaking but easy, you know? If I were staying longer and required another look and also required something a little bit warmer and I didn't want to wear my two coats, this is what I would do. I would layer the super lightweight turtleneck under the thicker sweater. And this is why, especially when I work with a limited travel capsule, I always have something that is really tight and fitted to the body and something that is a little bit bigger because this is where you can really get those layers in and create a completely different look without having to bring a whole bunch of different things. To make this look feel considered, what I always make sure is to somehow draw more attention to the layers in any way I possibly can. So like here, yes, we can see the little turtleneck underneath the crew neck, but in addition, I'm rolling up my sleeves so that we get not, not only this texture mix, I don't know, it just feels a little bit more deliberate, feels a little bit more intentional and styled. I would, I don't know why, I feel like the kind of two-tone layers, I think it lends better to the little fanny pack than to the big bag. I think it's probably because this feels a little bit like 90s, you know, when you would like layer a long sleeve tee under a polo, like that kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> I didn't wear this look. I wore something very similar, but if I had to, again, go out for like a nice like evening out, cocktails, whatever, this is definitely something I would wear. All I did was add the belt. Like, look how, look, I know it's all black. I know it's all black. I know it's all basic, but I think it's got like a great mix of classic and sass and minimal and all the things that I like. Given that my legs are bare and this would be an evening outfit and it would be probably cooler. This is what I would do. I would have to go with the fanny. This is one of those times where I would recommend you do not travel without your go-to, even if you think you don't need it. But we're making it work, okay, with the fanny. That's it. Do we like? Can you even see or tell a difference? Because you know what? I can. I feel like this is like a whole new outfit. I love how this looks. 
All these textures, fantastic, it's great. This is what I wore to the YouTube mixer event. Just the simple sweater, the skirt. I wanna bring your attention to the fact that I did not tuck in the sweater, I didn't do the half tuck, even though I think it would look super cute. See, look, the half tuck is great. Actually, why didn't I do the half tuck? I think I wanted to feel really chill. I didn't know how dressy people would be, so I just wanted to keep it really chill. And also like this kind of silhouette, like just sort of with the sweater hanging, it's a little different for me it made this whole look feel a little different and again the glasses making like such an interesting play on this whole thing and actually i think if i have video or photos you're gonna notice that the tights i was wearing were actually opaque but i seem to have misplaced them <laughs> I don't know where they are, but honestly, the sheer would have been really good too. Everyone at this party was kind of dressed all sorts of ways all over the spectrum, and I felt really good wearing this. Um, but let me just show you what that little styling tweak looks like with the belt and the half tuck. I just think it's amazing what a few little tweaks can do. See, so here, we're just seeing a little bit of the buckle. It's almost like a little bit of jewelry for the outfit. There we go, this is great. Man, why didn't I wear it this way? I think I was a little shy. I'm kind of sad now. I should have worn this. <laughs> so that is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much as always for being here. Hope you enjoyed this travel content and this video. If you did, if you liked it, if you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so, so much again for watching. Ciao.